Our goal in this screencast is to create a text that is displayed only under a certain condition. So we need to make something that we can make a condition on. So let's say that we want to make a text that is displayed only if a number equals zero. Well, let's make that number and we'll make it a slider so that we can move it off zero and onto zero and see whether the text appears and disappears as it should. So we click on slider and let's make a slider here and minus 5 to 5 so it's going to go through 0. We're going to make the increment 1 for this screencast because it's easier to make the slider hit 0 then. So apply. There's the slider and it's a good idea to have it fulfilling the initial condition you want. So we're going to make it equal to 0 so that the text is there. So we're going to now create a text and then we're going to put a condition on this text that it only shows up when a equals zero. So let's go and insert text. We'll put it up here and it says yes a equals zero. This is our text. Okay and right now we're going to move it so it's a little bit more centered. Right now this text is not conditioned. Even if I move a off zero the text is still there. Right? So what we want to do is make it so this text only shows up when a equals zero. So we go to the text, we right click on it, we choose properties. There's five tabs here. The tab we're interested in right now is the advanced tab. Condition to show object. Our condition is that a equals zero. Now I chose this condition because it's a little tricky. We type a but we cannot type equals. That's like we're trying to set a equal to zero. We have to say does a equal zero and the does equals is a symbol under the degree sign. So we click on the down arrow we scroll down, 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 almost to the bottom. And that's the symbol we want. Equals with a question mark. We click. So we have does A equal? And we type in zero. This is one of the tricky ones because it will take less than. It will take greater than. The other ones we know that we have to be looking for symbols. They're down here too. You see there's not equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. But this is the one where we always try to type in equals and then it doesn't work. So remember that it's equals with a question mark. The question is does a equal zero? And now we close. Now supposedly this text will disappear when we move a off zero. Select the move tool and let's move a off zero and it's gone. Move it back to zero, it comes up. Off zero, it's not there on zero it comes up. Let's make one more text that's for a greater than zero. So we'll go back to text and we'll put a text here. Now a is greater than zero and we hit OK. It's not conditioned so now right click on it and choose properties again and now our condition is a greater and then we just use the regular symbol zero and we close. Oh, it's gone. That's because a equals zero. So we'll see if it comes up when a is greater than zero. Yep, now a is greater than zero. And you can actually place these one on top of the other because they're not the same, they're not going to show up at the same time. So now a equals zero, now a is greater than zero, all these are greater, and over on here nothing is there, right? And so we have shown how to create text that is displayed under certain conditions.